What is up, YouTubers? Jones are here, and welcome back to Bakugan Battle Brawlers, my Subterra Let's Play. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm in my room. I want to at least check out my rank before I continue. I beat Shun already, but I'm still in fourth. Great, but I beat Dan. No? Okay. <laughs> Alright, enough said and done. We are going to go back to the tournament. We only have two more battles left to go, and that is against Masquerade and Marduk. And yes, as you will also know, Masquerade does also have dual Hydronoids, so we do have to be careful there. And I did switch out the cards last time, so I'm pretty sure I'll have a good amount. Yeah, okay, here we go, semi-finals. Ooh, this is gonna be a little tricky. Gonna be tricky, but we can do it. I know it's also weird with the light in the background, kind of. I did what I can to at least make this not so bright, or at least the background not so bright. Which I guess is alright. Uh, alrighty. Oh, so then I'm gonna put that one there. Alright, Masquerade, we haven't fought since the Ventus one. You scared? You scared, you boy? Because me and Leonidas are gonna take you down. And out of Tigra's mouth we go. Ooh, I could do the same trick on you again like I did last time. I so want to do that again. Alrighty. No. Bad. Bad Hydronoid. Alrighty. So, of course, I'm gonna place this over here. And then I'm gonna put down Gorum and Cycloid on that side. I am Gorum. Bow before me. Well, you're kind of protecting me, so, uh, thank you. And you know what? I'll let you go. I'll let you go this time. Actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Uh, and I mean to make you go fight Gorum, but you know what? Why not? Oh, wait a minute. I know what you might have. You might have an item destroyer. Shoot. And I really want to use this again on you. Of course, this is this, so I get an extra 200 more than him. Okay, no you don't. I thought you did. Uh, let's see. Let's see how he goes up with that. If he puts up another... Okay, no, we'll just go like like this. You shake about a little too. Okay, off the bed, because I don't want to shake the camera a lot. Alrighty, won that one. And the one boss of dust and all that. Yes, I won! Alrighty, hopefully with Cycloid. You know what? I have an idea actually. So he could go and battle against me either way. I don't care. So go on. 
Okay, so he goes up against me. Okay. And the thing is, I could easily overpower him. And not have to use my switch ability. And then I could just get a double stand in the next one. So if I win this one, then I can just get a double stand and win this. Oh, he has a cross stopper too. Uh, he's not doing it, I'm not doing it. You might know, I'm just gonna screw him over. Pretty much right before the end, I'll just... Like, I'll just get bad ones, and then he'll just... Mine. I'm surprised he didn't use that, but there we go, I win. All I had to do is let Dual Hydronoid do the job. I loved using that move. I screwed him over on that twice, and it has been on Masquerade that I screwed him over with that twice. Okay, I gotta make sure I get a normal shot here, though. Here, Lady Nice, you can go and uh, say hi to Cycloid. There you go. Double stand. Take the car. Geek it, geek. Yeah, you won't beat me because I won. I thought that was pretty simple. Yeah. And then there was only Marduk. Alright, next cutscene, let's go. Planetor! He's too powerful! It looks like it's up to you two! Careful, guys. This is a totally different Planetor than the one you fought before. Good luck! We are all behind you! Leonidas has defeated Planetor before. However, taking into account Planetor's current power status, my calculations show that both sides have about a 50% chance to win. Be careful. Make me proud. Come on, Leonidas. We're ending this. Now. And there's our lovely cutscene. And yes, we only have Marduk left to go. And you know what's weird? He, his Splatoor hasn't evolved either. <laughs> Pretty strange, but yeah, he hasn't evolved either. But you know what? It's fine. It kind of makes things a little more easier for us. Alright. Also, I want you to listen to this music also when we start. I mean, just listen to it. I love this song a lot. Kind of like with DK64 music around the end. Just listen. I just love that music, it's actually pretty sweet. Alright, Marduk, you're going down, buddy. Alright, of course, as always, we start off with Leonidas. In we go. Barf! Barf, barf, wolf, wolf, I'm a dog, barf, barf. Oh, why is it this one? I hate this one. Oh, crap. And steady. Alrighty. Try not to get into too many battles, because double stands are mostly my specialty. Well, I kind of screwed him. <laughs> <laughs> How'd I miss? It's like someone shot it down somehow. Get card set. 
you know what, with all the playthroughs I've done, well, for all the attributes they can choose from for uh, your story, the only one that the only ones that really make sense are Pyrus, Chaos, and Darkest, because one, Darkest from the Doom Engine, that probably makes a lot more sense, especially going up against Marduk. And then and also with the team, you only have there's no darkest one in the battle brawlers. And then uh And with Chaos and Pyrus, it makes sense, because if you're up against, uh... But yeah, if you're, like, up against some... If you're up against, uh, Marduk, it just makes the most sense, right? Because it's... You know... Yeah, come on, come at me. Come at me, Fear Ripper. It just makes the most sense with Chaos and Darkest kind of be the opposites of each other. And then with the circle thing, with the uh, Pyrus on top, and then, you know, that connection between those two, too. It just makes the most sense. The, like, with Aquas of Terra and Ventus, they really don't really make sense in the story, really. It, it, it just doesn't. Okay, are you going to use an ability card? You are. Uh, I might want to use one. Eh, I'm good. Plus, I ain't gonna blow it like I did last time. Oh, yeah, I can't... I always keep forgetting Darkest is weak in this area, so that's actually pretty good. I almost forgot about that. I forgot about that when I was fighting off against Masquerade. You're toast! And I'm pretty much gonna get another double stand right away, so that's also good. Alright, double stand, let's go. Gaddy. Hat! Gaddy! Oh, look, they're at the same power level. Alrighty, Marduk. What are you gonna do? I don't really care. I don't know what card that is. I feel like it might be the one right in front of me, but I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to go like this. I almost forgot you could do a full turnaround. Shit. Wrong way. Shite, 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 shite. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I blocked you. Ha ha ha! Well, this is an easy win. And there we go, an easy victory. And like that, we've won this tournament. Alright, and I would like to leave it on this screen for a minute because, and look at all that Bakugan points that we've gotten. Holy crap, we're definitely in the, in the lead now. So anyways, I'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, press like button or subscribe, do whatever. And I shall see all you dudes in the next video. See you guys next time.